I hope you're happy. Um, and one of my friends uh, found me and told me I could go hang out with him and his friends. Um, and it ended up being, he was staying, or Austin was staying with him. Um, and that's how Austin and I met. Um, it was a pretty intense night for me because I had been in fight or flight for a couple days after getting evicted. And was just trying to hold myself together at that point and survive. So it was um, a huge blessing. Um, huge blessing. I didn't really think fate still existed or any of those awesome things. Awesome. I'm happy for you, Jade. And yeah, as long as you're happy. You know. <laughs> well, yeah, I've never really just switched sides of the country and ran off with somebody, but when I met Austin, I just knew, which sounds so cliche. Yeah, exactly. If I wouldn't have gotten illegally evicted, I never would have met Austin because I was definitely a homebody. I never left my house. Um, so it was an amazing thing. Um, and he also helped me be able to actually play my music rather than just doing live venues like I was doing uh, around the town I lived in. I, he helped me take it to the next level. And even though <laughs> I hear you, I, I definitely like home. That's why I'm happy to be out on uh, my late mother's land because I can be home and still be outside. Um, but yeah, happy newish relationship, Jade. I'm really wishing you the best. Many blessings to you on that. Um, my seeds. <laughs> Um, I'm used to living in the high mountains, um, so it's definitely different here, um, but I do like it. I love how long the grow season is, and I love plants, so yeah, I think I had enough fun <laughs> in my early 20s, too. I don't really need to go crazy, <clears throat> plus I have a lot of work to do building a garden and a food forest, so I don't have a lot of party time, to be honest. There are things to be done. Yeah, you're welcome, Jade. Nothing like new love. Austin and I promised each other we're gonna keep keep it alive. My um, you know, we keep flirting with each other. We keep watering our garden of love. We keep complimenting each other and doing nice things for each other to keep it alive. Cause doing research about the relationships that last a long time it's it's really keeping that spark alive um or even when it dies down still knowing it's there and and reigniting it with you know gifts and compliments and and just dwelling in that love <laughs> yep which is very doable when you have two people willing to do it um through the good times and the bad keeping that spark alive <laughs> So far, it's working over here. Yeah, it's nice to have a partner that's willing to work at it. Um, like I said, we finally tried couples yoga. Um, I've never been able to do that with a partner, um, but Austin was willing to, so we did a couples yoga thing in bed because I don't want to get out of bed when I'm about to go to bed. So we just did, um, they have one on YouTube that is for in bed <laughs> and it's really simple because I don't want to just jump back into some crazy contortions. Um, so it was really fun to do. Um, it really even brought us closer um, too, which was beautiful. And thank you. Um, we definitely do. Um, it's, I guess, like working a garden. <laughs> well, thanks. I only wear makeup when I do shows. This is last night's makeup. <laughs> I don't like wearing it because I feel like it weighs on my face and it, it I don't like it, but I'll wear it for my shows. Um, but thank you. Um, I definitely am in need of some face masks and stuff because I can tell my skin needs some, some TLC. <laughs> oh, I miss my, well, that's why I ended up getting some green tea because I like to put green tea all over my face because it's an antioxidant and um, gets rid of the eye bags and I haven't been sleeping well, so. Well, thank you, Jade, I appreciate that. <laughs> I do. Uh, yeah, I didn't realize how, it, how um, if I'm not careful online, like when I first started up here, how, how my self-esteem will just start going away. 
um, cause I had to block a bunch of people who were just, you know, out to tear somebody down and I feel bad for them to be in a place to want to tear somebody down. But, um, I'm glad my self esteem's building again and, and, and thanks to, um, people, people here in this chat who like lifting people up. Um, I've lived away from my family for a long time. I just moved back to live with my dad and my brother on my late mother's property. Um, but I did leave. I, I was in California for 10 years, so I did leave a lot of friends behind, unfortunately, um, that I do miss um, every day and, and my little sister. But I'm sure I'll encounter them again someday. Um, I do have to go back to California to get my cello because I don't really trust mailing it. It's a very beautiful and sacred instrument and I can't mail it like my keyboard. My keyboard's a little bit more durable, so I didn't mind getting that one mailed. <laughs> but I do have a purple cello. Um, I'm out of practice with it because I've been away from it for so long and it takes some serious muscle. Um, so I'm gonna have to practice a bunch with that when I do go get it and then hopefully I can do some cello mornings um, for you guys. <laughs> Yeah, I should have my good keyboard back by the 10th. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so, and when my good keyboard comes back, I'm going to try and play you guys some songs and just record them. You know, I've been working on stopping smoking. Um, I am. I'm going to do it in ceremonies only. Um, after I, I'm going to grow an anipi out here um, and do it in ceremony. But, you know, I've, I've come a long way um, since last year, so I'm doing the best I can. And I will stop when I'm able to. <laughs> I definitely don't want to be a smoker for life. <laughs> um, but yeah, my good keyboard will be back by the 10th. And then hopefully I can um, do a recorded show. Um, I can't vape. Um, I actually really like the actual taste of tobacco itself, um, and it's it's the way my ancestors did it. Um, they did it in a pipe, though, and I'm gonna be growing my own and doing it ceremoniously. But I'm not gonna try vaping, or I, <laughs> I'm just gonna switch and vape all the time. I know it, um, and it's gonna get me further away from going back to my roots. Um, but I do appreciate that. Yeah, I can understand that. <laughs> makes sense. Um, I did quit once for five years. Um, and I don't know why you're talking so harshly about yourself, boss one, but you might want some therapy. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's true. Vapes aren't the same. Uh, what a beautiful day. Um, I went over this a little bit earlier, but now that there's a few more people here, I want to show you guys my new seeds. Um, I got some gigantic kale. <laughs> I've never seen kale this big, and I'm really excited to try and grow it. Um, it's going to be huge, like maybe five salads worthy. Thank you, Big GMW. I did have a lot of alone time um, just trying to, you know, just figure out who I was and build myself up and and figure out who I wanted to be and what I wanted to be so I appreciate that I had like two years of just being enclosed healing from the epilepsy and just uh, working on myself so I do appreciate the observation I got some spinach good old spinach some mustard because I am in love with mustard greens even though well thank you big JMW I'm in love with mustard greens, even though I'm not a fan of store-bought mustard. But when I made my own mustard by grinding up the seeds, it was a whole different world. <laughs> and lettuce. Ice clean lettuce. Yummy, yummy. It should grow in a little bit colder temperature, so I can still have lettuce all winter. And then, of course, my dill. Um, here's a... I'm going to repeat my pickle joke. I'm in a pickle, but I'm willing to make a dill. Yeah. Stone ground mustard's amazing. I can't wait to get my mortar and pestle again and 
I like making macaroni salad um, and putting ground mustard in it. it makes it really good. <coughs> and then also on deviled eggs as like a topper. It just is a game changer. I gotta say. <laughs> but yeah, I um, planted some of the mustard yesterday, some of the dill. Um, and then I woke up this morning to go see my lavender plant and I saw what I thought was a lava rock. Then I realized I'm not by a volcano anymore. And I looked closer and it was another giant mustard leaf that just started coming out of the ground. So I must have dropped it when I was planting other stuff, but I'm really excited about it. Um, we haven't had rain since I got my rain drum, but it looks like it might rain today. Um, my rain drum is outside, um, because I'm really excited to hear it and go with that. Um, so maybe I'll try and get a video of it if it does rain today, um, so I can put it on here and show you guys. Um, hi, good, how are you, Jem Jem? And hopefully, I mean, thanks for giving me the idea, Miles, about... The rain drum because I had no idea. I just needed something to play while I was waiting to get a keyboard. So I'm really excited about it. Apparently if it doesn't have a drain in it, it's gonna get full of dirt, but I think either I can drill a hole in the bottom um, or I can just empty it when it does get full. Um, I live in Amarica, Hayden. Good old Amarica. <laughs> so yeah, do you guys want to see the garden? Oh cool, I definitely can always use some more calming things in my life. So thank you for sharing that, Miles. <laughs> Alright, let's check out the garden. Hopefully the video is secure. So, my mustard that I'm most proud of. Right over here. I did take some more leaves off. I can't help but keep eating it. <laughs> you know how it gets. Um, and then I do have some uh, lettuce, some lettuce heads coming in. Um, some kind of lettuce. I actually forgot what I ended up planting here. I'm sure if I went back in my old videos, I can figure it out. But once it gets to a certain uh, height of growth, then I can figure it out too. Uh, this is my wasabi arugula it's coming in everything's getting leaves <laughs> oh, okay well some of these uh So yeah, here's the wasabi arugula, and then yesterday, my brother has been working on this part of the land, so we put a giant tarp down to make it so that everything, all the grass would die, so we have somewhere to grow. Um, so I planted some dill here, and here, and here. And here, I have to cover everything so the cats don't get it. Um, but I'm gonna water that in a little while. And then probably before it rains, cause it's gonna, it looks like it's gonna rain. Um, I'm gonna try and throw some more seeds on the ground. Um, get my catnip um, bushes going. Um, it's not too cold for lettuce. So especially the lettuce I have. Um, it's actually still pretty warm here. I'm in shorts. <laughs> Sorry. Fucking hair. <laughs> so, uh, most of the seeds I get, I get for cold climates because I'm used to living high in the mountains. So, I do have a little bit extra time there. Also, with a lot of these seeds on the back, it says to plant them in late fall or early spring. Um, so, I'm only doing those here and then I'm going to work on doing an indoor garden. Um, where I can start my milkweed and my catnip and stuff um, that I'm stoked about. I guess I could just garden forever and be perfectly content. 
Anyway, it looks like I better get some more seeds in the ground before it does rain. So I'm gonna head out here. Um, I hope you all have a fabulous November day. Um, do grow tomatoes. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll actually talk about that a little. So in the permaculture class that I took, and you have a lovely day too. Um, I'm gonna go here in just a minute. In the permaculture class that I took, I learned that there's a method called no-till, um, where you work with the soil without tilling it up before you plant stuff. Um, and tomatoes are a great way to do that. If you plant a whole bunch of tomatoes and 